You can build dashboards in Node-RED. If you're a web dev, you might call this a user interface. Or if you're in the industrial world, you might call this an HMI or human machine interface. Either way, um, a dashboard is where you can view um, gauges, trends, there's uh, buttons, places for user input, and of course to view data. Before we get into the Node-RED dashboard module, I'd like to show you really quick that you can create custom web pages. So we start with the HTTP in node. This is going to create our endpoint. Then we need a template and an HTTP response. Let's wire these together. And we're going to go ahead and just say, what do we want our URL to be? So let's just say test one. And then I'm going to put some custom uh, HTML in here. Deploy. So now, it was that easy to create a web service, a web page. So, of course, you can make these as dynamic as you want, but um, de there's definitely coding involved, uh, HTML. Not everyone wants to do that. So, Node-RED dashboard. If you don't have the Node-RED dashboard, simply go over to the Manage Palette. And then under Install, type in Dashboard. And install the Node-RED dashboard. So let's start with a simple hello example here. We've got a button. Of course, we could do a debug if we wanted, but then we're going to go ahead and display it text. So when we click the button, we want the payload to be hello world. We don't care about the topic right now. The UI elements are organized into groups and those groups will be on a tab. So first thing is we need to assign this thing to a group. We don't have one. And we don't have any tabs, so let's start by building a tab. We're going to call it Demo. And then we want this group to be called uh, Button. And the Button group is on the Demo tab. Now this text box, all we have to do is make sure that it's on the uh, group that we want. We're going to go ahead and deploy. So the URL is going to be our same web address, only we're going to do slash UI. You can see there's a button, I push it, we've got a hello world. Now to customize the dashboard in general, if we go over to this dashboard tab, you can see we can um, edit the order of the elements on the tabs. Um, we can also do the theme. I like dark. And then site is some other information. So if you want to format the date, change the, the spacing and so forth of the widgets, I'm going to hit deploy and show you that it turned black and I dragged the button down below the text. All right, let's do a few more examples here. So let's do a gauge and a slider. And let's make our another group. We're going to call this um, analog. And we're going to leave it on that same demo tab. And whenever we slide it, it's going to be a value from 0 to 200. And we got to set up the gauge, and we want the gauge to be 0 to 200. We can also add these color sectors. So, for instance, um, between 0 and 
75 is green. Between 75 and 150 is yellow. And then 150 to 200 would be red. So let's go ahead and deploy. We'll go ahead and try this thing out. It's pretty slick. Notice that I accidentally added the original group and I just called it analog. So if I go back in this guy, I want to do a new UI group. And I'm going to put it back on a discrete. And this one wants to be on that one as well. Now you see these two groups. Now the cool thing is, as you add groups to a page, they scale and sort themselves dynamically. So let's say you were viewing this on a mobile phone and it looked a lot like this. Well, you can just, the groups will order themselves and it'll give you scroll bar so that you can access your user interface regardless of the size of your screen. All right, I'm going to do a little more here. We've got this analog value. Let's go ahead and do a chart. Let's do two charts. And one of these charts, let's make it be a line chart. That looks great. And the other one, we can do a bar chart. We can go ahead and make sure it's on the analog tab, deploy. So there's no data yet, but as we start moving this thing, you can see that it uh, works out pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and put these charts next to each other. We can customize how big they are. So this line chart, I want it to be just this big, four by three. And I'm gonna save the other two this chart is going to be 2 by 3 deploy and it's going to automatically stick them together because there's room for them to sit side by side now we can see one chart next to the other let's go ahead and fix our axis as well so we know this thing is going to be 0 to 250 And we also want the date range. Let's give this to be three minute date range on this chart. Now, if we come look at this, you can see we've got our fixed date range. This shows us the value. This shows us the history of the value and so forth. So the audio output can play text to speech. So if you input text, like our Hello World, it should be able to speak it. We do want to go ahead and put it on the discrete group. Hello World. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's go ahead and get the lady. Zira. Hello world. Okay, so a uh, notification can bring up a little slider notification. And then there are a few more things. Template is where you can make almost a completely custom thing. So you can actually pull in icons and create a custom symbol and custom behaviors or custom text. New eye control uh, allows you to dynamically control the dashboard. So let's go ahead and deploy. Watch the notification. Hello world. Looks like the notification comes up on the uh, web browser.